Great. Yeah. Okay, so I think in the video. Ambassador Roma, the exchange case, so ladies and gentlemen, and good morning, Bob. Also, Dr. Laurie Mother, the founder and uh, executive, executive director of uh, Shida Conservation Fund. On behalf of the International Cooperation Development Fund, Taiwan ICDF, it is a great honor for me to have this opportunity to deliver the remarks for the signing of the significant agreement between the Cheetah Conservation Fund and the Taiwan ICDF on the dispatch of volunteers. This is indeed a meaningful moment. I still remember I visited Cheetah Conservation Fund this September, and today, on International Cheetah Day, we celebrate our cooperation for the Cheetah Conservation. In such a short time, we finished all the due process by the speed of Cheetah. Here I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the Deputy Director Dr. Laurie Mucker and our friends at the Cheetah Conservation Fund for their assistance in achieving this milestone. I would also like to thank Ambassador Law and the partners in the Republic of Somalia who helped make this possible. Taiwan ICDF is an official development cooperation agency of Taiwan. One of our core works is the overseas volunteer program. Under this program, more than 800 volunteers have been dispatched to 44 countries around the world. And the scope of volunteers' missions mainly includes environmental protection, education, public health, ICT, agricultural environmental protection, SME. Especially environmental protection, our volunteers have assisted in diverse projects such as trade vending, environmental education, and also in the field of biological monitoring. However, this is our first attempt to the field of wildlife conservation. It is also our first time to dispatch volunteers to Somaliland. We all know that Shida Conservation Fund is a well-organized and has abundant experience in the field of saving Shidas. I sincerely hope that with this partnership, our Taiwanese expert on wildlife conservation we involved in Shida Conservation Initiatives to assist and support worthwhile and meaningful work. Through this agreement, we look forward to carrying out our collaboration with the Cheetah Conservation Fund in saving the Cheetah from extinction, to ending the illegal trade in Cheetah cups, and creating sustainable habit for wildlife. In closing, I would like to once again thank everyone for attending today's event, and I wish you all the best of health and happiness. Thank you. Good morning and happy International Cheetah Day. And uh, all protocols observed, so it's very nice to be here with you, and thank you for hosting us in the, um, the office here today. So with uh, International Cheetah Day, this is a very special day. It is the 12th year that we've celebrated the Cheetah internationally, and it is an international day of the IUCN, which is the um, International Conservation Union for Wildlife and Wild Species. From that, I'd like to really thank and uh, are very delighted to be working with the International um, Group and Development Fund and um, with Taiwan and the Taiwan office. With this, we're very delighted to sign this MOU you, with you today to bring um, some very um, experienced um, skilled volunteers into Somaliland and have them work with us and the ministry and the government as we work towards helping support cheetahs but also to help with our wildlife conservation and our community work in the country. We know that your skilled volunteers will be a very great asset to the country and we've had good experience working with volunteers from the Cheetah Conservation Fund over 32 years that the foundation has been involved, it is a nonprofit organization and has really depended on volunteerism on a global scale. Over these years, we've had over 3,000 global volunteers work with us. So we're very excited to be working with Taiwan as we help in our development here in Somalia. From that, I would like to say a few words about the Cheetah. Um, today in the world, there are 
Less than 7,500 cheetahs left in the world. They are one of the world's um, most endangered big cats, Africa's most endangered big cat. Here in the Horn of Africa, there are less than 500 individuals where we have still an illegal wildlife trade. Our safe house that you were able to visit has now 91 cheetahs. We're very excited to be working with the Somali man government to be developing a new national park and sanctuary, the Cheetah Conservation and Rescue Center at Gedebli. We're working as hard as we can to try to get the animals moved out of the safe houses in Hargeisa into Gedebli, we hope in the next couple months. Your volunteer, whoever they will be, and I must say that conservation doesn't matter if you're a wildlife biologist, that conservation is a part of all of our lives. So everybody and any skilled volunteer you have will be very welcome as we look at the conservation of the wildlife and the cheetahs here in Somaliland. So with that, I just would like to thank you very much for um, your trust in us to be able to work closely with you, to be able to work with your volunteers, and we look forward to a very long relationship together. We thank Taiwan for being uh, participating here in Somaliland to look at the future uh, of the government and the country. Thank you. I'm Mohamu Bandale, Minister of Environment and Climate Change of the Republic of Somaliland, to make a remark. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great opportunity for all of us from Somaliland to be here today to really witness to really witness this great event which will be taking place in the Taiwan Embassy. As a Somalian government, we are so thankful for the Taiwan government as well as CCF who are here today to sign an agreement on sending volunteers from Taiwan to Somalia. Um, I cannot, I really cannot express my happiness today because this is a noble, this is a noble activity. If I go back to where we started with CCF, at least 12 years ago, we had no opportunity to save any wildlife at that time. When CCF came into the country, they supported us not only protecting the wildlife of the country, but also training our people in some areas. We have been to Namibia recently. I am the Minister of Trade and Tourism. We have seen a lot in Namibia, learned a lot from Namibia, and actually we are going to relocate what we have seen in Namibia in Somalia. It is not easy all the time to fight the illegal trade, wildlife trade in all of Africa. But as a Somalian government, we try our best level to come up and fight the criminals day in and day out. Today, the volunteers who are coming from Thailand are literally welcome to Somalia. We will be moving wildlife from the sanctuary they are in now to a national park in Shaolai in the coming few months. And today, it is a great event for all of us to witness this to take place. In fact, um, it is beyond imagination. It is literally beyond imagination. This is the first step, and it won't be the last step. Inshallah, the wildlife of Somalia is not only for Somalia. The wildlife in Somalia is for all over the world. We will be protecting the wildlife for the whole world. Thank you very much.